What's up guys, this is Raymond Iron by McKinney and today I want to read about a little bit more about how your assumptions affect your reality that you are the entire cause of your your own reality based on your assumptions and in this chapter of by Neville Goddard The Power of Awareness there's one chapter he talks about in chapter 7 called Attitude I think this was um, it may have been added in because it's more of a new edition of one of his books but it talks about an experiment about based on our assumptions and it goes experiments recently conducted by Mer Merle Lawrence which is Princeton and Adelbert Amaze um, Dart Dartmouth in the latter's psychology laboratory at Hanover Nor New Hampshire prove that what you see when you look at something Depends not so much on what it, what is there as on the assumption you make when you look. Since what we believe to be the real world, the real physical world, quote unquote, is actually only an assumptive, an assumptive world, it is not surprising that these experiments prove that what appears to be solid reality is actually the result of expectations or assumptions. Your assumptions determine not only what you see, but also what you do. For they govern all your conscious and subconscious movements towards the fulfillment of themselves. Over a century ago, this is this truth was stated by Emerson as follows. Ralph Waller Emerson, he goes, As the world was plastic and fluid in the hands of God, so it is ever to so much of his attributes as we bring to it. To ignorance and sin it is flint. They adapt themselves to it as they may, but in proportion... As a man has anything in him divine, the firmament, firmament flows before him and takes his stagnant and form. So, basically, like in that in that paragraph there, your assumptions, how you see yourself in relation to the world, the world conforms based on how you see yourself. In direct proportion to how you see yourself so if you see yourself it's not so much say like say if you want to be a, a millionaire or something like that it's not enough to be like I'm a millionaire I'm a millionaire when you're forcing it and you deep down you don't believe it and if you're honest to yourself that you don't believe it's possible your subconscious belief that it's not possible and that you have a lot of resistance to it it's you're making it, it's a it's a lot harder to believe that to be true. So I was actually listening to a guy, um, his YouTube channel is called 2020. I feel it real fun. And he talked about um, instead of just going straight to saying, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, he talked about try assuming your income's already doubled. Say like you make um I don't know, say uh, I'm trying to think. Say if you make something like two or three hundred dollars a week, and you assume that you say your boss, you say you have an inner conversation with your boss, saying, "I'm gonna, I just doubled your income because you're just a, a great worker" or something like that, and to make it as certain and realistic to you as possible. You're going to have that deep feeling the more you practice it, the more natural it feels. And it'll seep in your subconscious mind. <clears throat> and what you assume to be true is will happen, inevitably happen. So say like make $300 a week, the next time you assume maybe $600 a week, and you double that, 1200 Then you just keep doubling and just build your confidence. And, um, you know, when you build your confidence and you build – you build that belief that you can do bigger, bigger things. I like uh, one of my favorite quotes by James Lawrence, the Iron Cowboy, who recently finished 100 Ironmans in 100 days. He said something about success breeds success and confidence breeds confidence. And when you build on to that confidence, to have that deep belief within yourself that you can do anything you set your mind to, it can happen. You can set big goals. You can... Set yourself big goals that seem that you can see yourself already doing it. 
if it feels real to you, even though it seems out there to other people, believe within you. That's the first step to anything in life. You must believe in yourself. Have that deep belief that what you already claim to be yours is already done. And it persists in that feeling, that deep feeling. And really, I think it, when you want to make it most effective, put yourself in a relaxed state. Get in alignment with, just be in tune with your body. Just be so relaxed. Shut out the external world. Close your eyes. Assume you are that person in that state. How does it feel to be that person? Having an inner conversation, someone congratulating you that you're, you're that successful person. Or, guys, everything we've got, it's already within us. It's just a matter of testing, testing our assumptions. To really, and don't, and I'm not saying, maybe like this, it takes some discipline to uh, really understand this, but also have fun with it too. Don't stress yourself out, try to force yourself with like these vain repetitions of affirmations. I am rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. How, get specific. Make it fun for yourself. Don't cause so much... Because if you try to force affirmations, you're going to... Your body's going to create such anxiety and it's... That's not fun. If you're having anxiety while you're trying to manifest, and even when... Just trying. Trying implies resi um, force. Just claim it as done. Trust that it's done. Get in the feeling that it's done. And... Like what I do, like I said before, I think in the video, I just make a list of things, put them in a imaginal scene, whatever. It doesn't have to be longer than a two second scene. Two or three, make it as long as five second scene or something. And just loop that a couple times until it feels real. And then it just, until you accept it as real as possible. And just go along your day having a, a pot, like a, a confident mental diet, like what I like to do is saying, isn't it wonderful? Or just go with a mantra that feels natural to you. Don't force affirmations. If you're forcing, you're only creating anxiety for yourself. Don't do that. You affect your world. Be honest with yourself. And trust yourself. Change the conception of yourself and live by that. And you will watch your whole world change inevitably. We're, this whole world is just a mirror, guys. This whole world is just a mirror. We're all mirroring each other. We can help each other out. So I hope this video helps. And I really bless you all. And I, I like to make these messages as authentic and pure as possible. As grounded as possible. So I bless you all. And happy manifesting.